I'm looking for Reed Demers to have that second game in a row in which he's dominant against a very good offense. We saw that offense last night for the Red Sox. John Duran getting in, and here we go. He swings and misses here. Tagged out by Ohapi, and Reed Detmers strikes out the opening hitter. Yeah, he gets him to chase. Sharp break to that. Not even really overly close to the zone. But that tells you how important the fastball was. So he sees that harder pitch. That was a harder slider from Reed Detmers. He got him to chase. And the batter now is Pablo Reyes. 0 oh 2. And Reyes swings and misses for strike three. Now that was a fuzz. That's a fastball up there. Staying back, staying balanced, and then fastball up. Detmer's in position to strike out the side to start this game. Punched out Jaron Duran, then got Pablo Reyes, and he's ahead of Rafael Devers. Swing and a miss. Reed Detmer strikes out the side of the first, emphatically punches out Rafael Devers. Yeah, Whitlock 1 0, ERA 180. And Garrett, who was very good in his debut in Seattle. It's Anthony Rendon lines a base hit the other way. The Angels have their leadoff man on. Yeah, that's the first hit he's had into the outfield. But I'll tell you, those are the ones. He hit that one yesterday, and you're like, uh oh. Rendon is running. The pitch is a strike throw to second, is in time. Oh, I take a look at that one. Review. That's bang, bang. They will not challenge. He's out. Here's Mike Trout with two down. Mike Trout takes ball four. Ted Award here. One and two with two down, the pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. Great changeup. And the inning is over. What do you know? Another pitcher's duel between Whitlock and Detmers. We go to the second inning. Ball four. And again, just a great plate appearance for O'Neill. He's not swinging at pitches out of the zone. He's aboard to lead it off for Bobby Dahlbeck. And that is a called third strike and a delayed call at that by the home plate umpire, Dan Bellino. Reed Detmers has the strikeout pitch working early on here. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Detmers. His fifth as he gets Costas to chase. Reed Detmers, who struck out the side in the first inning for the first time in his career tonight, has also fanned two more here in the second. Now, Seda and Rafaela. That's a curveball right down the middle for strike three. And he knew it, too. There is a slow curveball that. Freezes that native of Curacao struck him out looking and that will end the inning. So six outs all on strikeouts for Detmers. Aaron Hicks leads it up. That's a strike at the bottom of the zone and Hicks is gone. And it was brilliant. A cut fastball from Garrett Whitlock and he got his second strikeout one down. Oh hoppy grand slam last night first of his career. Hit hard as it is knocked down by Reyes. Has no play, and Logan Ohapi has a base hit. You have to wonder if Story does make that play. Reyes getting the start at shortstop tonight. So now 16 straight games that Ohapi has reached base. Inside, and Whitlock has walked two today. Now the Angels have something brewing. Two on, two out. So there's Zach Neto. One, two. And that'll be on the infield. Flag down, and a play is made by Reyes. He gets the force to retire the side. And Connor Wong will lead it off against. Reed Detmers and lines that one into left center field down for a base hit. Ward racing to cut it. Ward wants two. He's going to throw. He's in there with a dive. Connor Wong with a double. So the Red Sox get their first hit on a two base hit by Connor Wong, showing off his speed. Well, these catchers are on fire right now with the bats. Just what Will Fleming wanted. They get one to third with one away. Brings up Duran. 0 for 1 tonight. Jaron went to high school about 15 minutes from Angel Stadium. Line into left field, charging in Ward. It drops down for a base hit. Here comes Wong. He is in to score. Jaron Duran stays white hot and puts the Red Sox in front one to nothing. Pablo Reyes, the batter, struck out his first time. Now the runner picked between first and second. Shotwell's throw is in time. Duran caught stealing. I'm telling you, that is big for Reed Detmers because it definitely was something he had to think about a lot. As a left-handed pitcher, you don't even think most times base runners are going to be aggressive against them, but he, they, they have been. That's in there. Strike three called. Reed Detmers gets another punch up. Payoff to Rendon. Takes a pitch, and it's a oh. call third strike. Bottom of the zone, a sinker at 94. Perfect pitch from Garrett Whitlock. That is his third K tonight, and a good start to the bottom of the third. Sean Owell. Bases empty, one down the payoff pitch. Lined hard, oh. caught by a diving Casas. What a play at first base by the big fella. Two down to the bottom of the third. 
95 off the bat for Sean Owell, who continues to be snake bit this year. He's only got three hits. Sends up Trout, who took a walk in the first inning. 0 2 pitch, blow him away. 94 at the sinker, and on three pitches, Garrett Whitlock strikes out Mike Trout. It's his first 1 2 3 inning. Raphael Devers leads it off for Boston. We go to the fourth. They lead it 1 0. That's going to be a base hit. That's going to drop into right center. A leadoff base hit in the fourth. Tyler O'Neill stands in after a big night yesterday. That's. Oh, that's a strike. Oh, wow. That's been called all night long. Yeah, it sure has. Dan Bellino's been calling those low strikes. That's frustrating, too, because that's a strike. And that one is in there, strike three. So Dan Bellino, that might have been a makeup call. He hasn't really called the high strike tonight, but he has called the low strike. Two outs with Devers at second base. Detmers has struck out eight so far. He got Costas earlier. And another strikeout for Reed Detmers, number nine in four innings of work. Ward will stop at second. It's a little bit of trouble here for Garrett. Their third inning here with a couple base runners against Whitlock, but he's been able to keep the Angels off the scoreboard. Moniak will be the batter. He's had a walk so far tonight. This would be a great time for his first hit of the season. Another 2 2. Grounded to the right side. Diving stop by Valdez at second base. Gets to his feet and throws him out. And a fist pump for Valdez in shallow right, and he deserves it. That's a run saving play to retire the side in the fourth and keep the Red Sox in front 1 0 in Anaheim. Nine strikeouts for Detmers. He's been relatively efficient with his pitch count considering how many K's he has. Yeah. Six. 02 counts, 12 first pitch strikes to 16 batters face. That's 75%. And there, strikeout number 10 for Reed Detmers. Another punch out on a changeup. And that's out of the 13 outs recorded behind Detmers. And Red Sox going a lot earlier to that pen than they wanted to tonight. Greg Weiser has been awfully good in the early going. He gets Trout here with two base runners and one out. Ripped in the left field, but in on it comes Duran on the run. He dives and makes the play. Brilliant defense by Jaron Duran. He is fired up in left field, and he takes a hit and probably an RBI away from Mike Trout. This becomes a real big inning for Reed Detmers and the Angels after missing an opportunity to tie or take the lead. Now the top of the order for the Red Sox. There's strikeout number 11 as Duran couldn't reach it. He's one strike away from a dozen. There it is, strikeout number 12 for Reed Detmers. He ties a career high. It hasn't been this one dominant pitch, it's been all four. Devers with a fly ball to center field. Trout has it. Reed Detmers with an outstanding outing tonight. 12 strikeouts, ties a career high. Six innings of one run balls. And he throws it first. Runner takes off. A strike. The throw down is the tag. And they get it. <laughs> They've tried three times to steal tonight. They've all been close plays. And Ray Montgomery on the phone. They yep. will review. So we'll see. That hand safe. is in. That hand is in again. The ruling on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Had so many opportunities, but now Zach Neto will try to cash in on one against Isaiah Campbell, the former Mariner. Neto with a ground ball. Reyes to his left, scoops it, shovels too late. Now trying to score is Renhifo. He goes back to third, and he'll make it safely. Good speed on the bases. Renhifo at third. Moniak at second base. Neto at first. On two and two, Rendon. It's a bouncer to third. Devers backs up and misplays it in the left field. It scores two. Renhifo comes home. So does Moniak. And the Angels take the lead on a mishap at third base. Well, their defense has been outstanding tonight. Preventing runs of scoring, but not on that one for Devers. Here comes Trout with the bags full. And he sends one deep to left center field, but it moves over Duran, who comes in to make the catch. Justin Slayton coming on on the bullpen. He went one in the third perfect innings Wednesday at Oakland. Two down the 0-2. And a swing and a miss to strike him out. He strikes out the side in the seventh. Jaron Duran, who's had a nice series. He's had another RBI hit tonight, one for three. Ball hit hard towards center. Trout got a good jump. He races back. He's near the wall. He leaps. He makes the catch. Mark Trout up against the wall. Robs Duran of extra bases. He banged into the center field wall. Holds on to the baseball. Caught it out there on the warning track in dead center. And that is how the inning will end. It's Carlos Estevez to try to save a two to one game in the top of the nine. That's in there, strike three call. That four seamer had some ride on the inside part of the plate. Red Sox have not had a hit since Devers singled to lead off the fourth inning. Playable, perhaps. Rendon in foul territory. Makes the catch. Say goodnight to the Red Sox. 
The Angels get a quality win. Kamehameha from Carlos Estevez for the save. Oh, that was awesome. What a performance on the mound throughout the entire game. Reed Detmers dominated, picks up the W now 2-0.